Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from HTMLTim.com here. In this video, I want to discuss migrating from Emacs to the Pulsar text editor. So I have an HTML file open, and I'm calling it Emacs to Pulsar.html. And the theme I have right now is an Emacs-like syntax theme. You notice down here that I do have one deprecation warning, so if that bothers you, you may not want to use it. But this is a theme we can start using. I also have a package installed that allows me to use Emacs type key bindings. So for instance, let's go through some of these key bindings. Now you want to watch this video if you're either interested in migrating from Emacs to Pulsar or you just want to learn some Emacs key bindings. So I'm going to make an unordered list and I'm going to create a list item and to move down a line what we're going to do is control N. Okay. So control N moves down a line to move. And let's actually write that move down a line. So control N. OK, to move up a line, we do control P. So control P moves up a line, control N moves down a line. To move forward a character, we can do control F. OK, so control F will move forward a character. To move back a character, we're going to do control B. So to move back a character, we're going to do control B. OK, so control B moves back, control F moves forward. OK, to move forward a word, we're going to do Alt and then F. OK, Alt F is going to move me forward a word. So if I go back a few words here, Alt, and then go Alt F, I'm moving forward a word. OK, to move back a word, we're going to use Alt B. OK, so Alt B moves me back a word. Alt F moves me forward a word. OK. You'll probably notice I've been moving to the end of the line. So to move to the end of the line, we're going to do Control E. OK, so Control E moves to the end of the line. To move to the beginning of the line, we're going to do Control A. So Control A goes to the beginning. Control E goes to the end of the line. To move to the end of the file, well, that's going to be Alt and then the arrow key. So another way to think of that is um, Alt, Shift, and the period. Okay, so Alt, Shift, period, or Alt, arrow, because you have to use the Shift and the period to get the arrow. Okay, so we could do Alt, Shift, arrow, that moves to the end of the line. I'm going to use Control P to move up a couple lines. And then to move to the beginning of the file, we're going to do Alt and the arrow key the other way. And now the arrow key the other way is going to be Shift and the comma. So another way to think of this is Alt, Shift, and the comma. And these are all key bindings that will work in Emacs as well. So. Um, I'm going to show you the package by the end of the video that does this. Okay. To set a mark. All right. To set a mark, we're going to do control and space. Now, the control at symbol, some of you may know that control uh, at works in Emacs, but it does not work in this package, as far as I can tell. And I'll show you the package by the end of the video. And then. Um, <clears throat> duplicate line. Okay, so duplicating a line is a little interesting in Emacs. So duplicating a line. So that's going to be Control A, Control Space, Control N, contr uh, Alt W to copy, and then Control Y to paste. So what am I doing here? I'm moving to the beginning of the line. Control A, Control Space. I am setting the mark. Control N, I'm going to the next line. Alt W, I'm copying what I copied, and then Control Y, I'm pasting. So let's do that. So Control A, Control Space, Control N, 
Alt W, Control Y. Okay, and I duplicated the line. Now I can keep duplicating it with Control Y like so. I can undo it with Control X U, Control X U. Um, I think I can do, let's see, 10 Control X U. Nah, that didn't work. So Control X U, Control X U to undo. Okay, so that's some Emacs key bindings um, for you. Uh, to copy, like we said, to copy is Alt W. So we use that in that sequence. Um, to cut is going to be Control W. So if you just want to cut something, that's Control W. Okay. Uh, as we mentioned, to paste, it's going to be Control Y. Um, to save, you're going to do Control X, Control S. So if I want to save it, you can see this little blue dot saying it's not saved. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to hold down the control and do XS. Okay. And now the blue dot goes away because it's saved. All right. Um, let's see what else. Okay. So control S is to search. So to search downward, going to be control S. Okay, so let's go to the top and we'll do control S and we'll search for I don't know, move. Okay, and we hit enter. We are at move. So we can do control S uh, to search for that. Okay, to exit and I won't do I won't exit just yet um, because I don't I don't want to exit during the middle of the video, but to exit, we're going to do Control X, uh, Control C. So you can just hold down Control and do X C. Okay. Uh, to kill a line, I've had to do Control K twice, so Control K K. So uh, let's do it. To kill a line, which is to delete, go to the beginning of the line, do Control K, Control K is what normally it's just Control K, but I had to do it twice. And I had to do it twice again. I'm going to undo that with Control X U. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. Uh, to delete a character, now let's move this up. Uh, yeah, and we can center it with Control L. But to delete a character, we're going to do um, Control D. Okay. So. Let's actually go back. Let's go back some words and we'll just delete this. So control D. Okay. I'll undo it with control X U, but we deleted that character there <clears throat> to open a pane to the side to open a pane to the side. It's going to be control X and three. So control X three that it will open up a pane. Now, if I'm in this pane, I want to get rid of it. Control X zero. Is going to get rid of it, but I could open up a file. Um, let's create another file, test.markdown, something like that. And let's go over here and yeah, we can open it up here. But then if I do control X zero, that's going to close out that pane. So to close out a pane is control X zero. Okay. To move to the other pane, so let's do let's do Control X3 to open up a pane. Let's put the test mark down here, and let's say we're here, but we want to move with the keyboard, so we do Control X. Uh, so Control X zero will move me to the other pane. Control X zero. Okay. So and I want to close this one out. So Control X. Sorry, not Control X zero. Control X O. <laughs> control X zero will close it. Control X zero. Okay, so to move to another pane is going to be Control X O. Control X O. Try not to confuse you. Okay, let's see what else we got. All right, to go to a line. So to go to a line is going to be Alt G G. So Alt G G. Let's try that again. Alt G G. And then I want to go to, let's say, line 18. So it goes to line 18, okay? So that's Alt G and then just G, okay? 
Um, okay. Uh, Alt H will mark a paragraph, but these things don't seem to work in this plugin. So we'll move past that. Let's talk about capitalizing a word. So to capitalize a word, we're going to do Alt uh, U. Okay. So if I want to capitalize this word, I just do Alt U. Uh, if I want to lowercase it, I'm going to do Alt L. Okay. So to to lowercase a word, it's going to be Alt L. Okay. All right. Uh, to capitalize. Oh wait. So sorry. This was to uppercase a word. My bad. To uppercase a word, which makes sense. Alt U to capitalize, that's just the first letter, capitalize a word, we're gonna do Alt C. Okay, so if I go back a few words and I wanna capitalize, capitalize, I'll do Alt C and that will capitalize that word, okay? All right, um, to uppercase a region is Control X, Control U. Uh, but this seems to kind of work the same as just uppercasing a word. So this is something interesting with that package. Um, to uh, bring up the command palette. So to bring up the command palette, we're gonna do um, we're gonna do Alt X. So Meta X, bring up the command palette, which makes sense given an Emacs type thing. Uh, we talked about undo to scroll up. Scroll up, we're gonna do uh, Alt V. To scroll down, we're going to do Control V. All right, so if I wanna scroll up, Alt V, scroll down, Control V, okay? Uh, to center the current line, All right, so to center the current line, and we probably have to have a scroll past N centered or set, uh, it's going to be Control L. So Control L will center the current line like I just did there. Um, if I wanted to indent the file, uh, I can do, let's see, Control X H highlights the file and then Control Alt and the slash under the backspace and that would indent the file. So that the Control Alt uh, backspace so, uh, indents a region. To indent a region is going to be Control Alt and then the backspace and then to highlight the file like I just did file, it's going to be control X and then H. Okay, I'm going to do control X, control S to save. Uh, so that's all these Emacs commands. So how do I get that? Well, if I go and I look at my packages here, I go to the packages they are going to load up. And I have this package atomic Emacs. Okay, that is the package I want. You can of course go into your settings here and look at uh, the package, I maybe need to check, always kill the whole line, you got the kill ring, yank, change from the text, all the key bindings here. So if you want to look at all the key bindings, you can go here and check that out. Okay, I'm sure there's some that I did not cover. Um, so that's the package that allows the movements. If you want a different type of theme, one theme that is very Emacsy, one of the most popular Emacs themes, I'm gonna go the UI theme to one dark, one of the most popular themes is the Zenburn theme, okay? And let's take that a moment to load. Okay, and here is the Zenburn theme. So that's kind of an Emacsy theme. Another more modern Emacsy theme is going to be the Space Max Dark theme, which you can also install. And here's the Space Max dark theme. I think people who use Space Max will be at home with this theme. So that's how you, part of the way you start your migration from Emacs to the Pulsar text editor. 
If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want more videos on the Pulsar text editor, I, I would recommend uh, subscribing to my channel as I have many videos on the Pulsar text editor for you to peruse. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.